uh, on their way and they came to uh, India and maybe the same class, the same case in Transylvania, they felt this drive even stronger because their rules, their past is even more hazy than that uh, of, uh, uh, of Hungarians. Uh, so uh, this may be a reason. Another reason is, uh, and that perhaps uh, gives an explanation uh, for uh, this 1848-49 uh, participation of many of them, that uh, Hungarians are also driven by a quest uh, for freedom, uh, for liberty. And that means uh, also a search for ideas of other nations, of other people, of other continents. So that made perhaps uh, most of these people to move, including uh, Goroshi Chomo, who no doubt has become uh, the greatest. So uh, he wanted to find the roots uh, of Hungarians. He knew very well that if you want to grow a high tree, you need to have deep roots, but you have to find them. So uh, he came to India, and as we all know it now, also after this presentation, ultimately perhaps he uh, didn't uh, uh, find exactly what he, what he wanted to, to find. He found at the same time uh, something more. He uh, found uh, the universe itself. Uh, he found uh, a culture, a civilization, which definitely has the same roots uh, as that of uh, uh, Hungarians. So uh, he was ultimately successful even uh, with respect to his original aspiration uh, or uh, ambition. Now coming back to, to Anna Kubini. Uh, she is indeed one of those Hungarians who uh, started to, to be attracted uh, first uh, by uh, the sailors in Transylvania, as I just read out. But then uh, she went on, she, she came here and uh, in fact, maybe uh, here we can identify even a, 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 a small difference uh, with uh, uh, Goroshi Choma. And that is that ultimately uh, she found what she wanted to find. Because uh, she is absolutely convinced that uh, we indeed have common uh, roots. And if you will see uh, the, uh, the, uh, the so-called Seikai gates, which are carved uh, in wood, and that you can see also in, uh, in the album, uh, and which she uh, marvelously uh, wove uh, in tapestry, then you realize that, yes, indeed, uh, much of the motives are the same. So uh, for her, it's, uh, it's a testimony to our common roots. And uh, so uh, I believe she has been successful uh, in uh, her ambitions and aspirations. And uh, I believe she has been uh, successful also in something else, uh, which is uh, perhaps even more important. After all these stages, of, uh, of uh, development of her art, uh, she found she found herself, and that's after all the most important thing for all of us. We have to find our own identity. We have to we have to try to find out who we are, and uh, that also applies to communities. It also applies to nations. We all have to preserve our identity. Uh, our background, our roots, our language, our culture. That's what makes the world diverse. And I think this is one of the most important objectives now in the era of globalization, uh, that despite all the challenges, 
all the risks uh, we have to insist upon our own identity, our own culture. That's what makes us diverse. And that's what makes us ultimately successful as individuals, as communities, but also uh, as uh, the global village, as uh, mankind, as uh, humanity. So these are the thoughts, I believe, we all have to try to bear in mind when we uh, when we'll have the uh, pleasure to see uh, these works. After all, uh, I think this is also something of an immense pleasure uh, for us, for us Hungarians, your interest uh, in this, and that again confirms and uh, reconfirms what uh, we all believe in, that yes indeed, yes indeed we have common roots, uh, we have uh, a distant common past, but what is perhaps much more important is that we have uh, as members as dwellers of this uh, global village, uh, we also have a common uh, future. So with these words, uh, I think I have to open this exhibition formally. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, I uh, wish you enjoyment, and happiness and success to you personally and uh, uh, to your uh, great nation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Janos Matyoni, Honorable Foreign Minister of Hungary. Uh, I would now like to request Mr. Janos Tereni, Ambassador of Hungary in India, to propose a formal vote of thanks. Estimated Curator and Secretary of the Victoria Memorial, Estimated Honorary Council of Hungary. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very inconvenient to be the last one in a rather long row of speakers. It is even more inconvenient when the previous speaker happens to be your boss, the Foreign Minister of Hungary, who happens to be a very eloquent orator. So that is why I do not want to use the five minutes at my disposal, but I would like to keep up your interest and uh, have a certain personal touch. You know, the diplomats, ambassadors, even ministers have to deal deliver speeches during numerous and very different occasions. A couple of years ago, I had the honor to represent my country, Hungary, in a neighboring country, which was Romania. Uh, when I was ambassador in Romania, uh, I was invited every year to the birthplace of Alexander Chomoda Kuros, since his birthplace, which is in Transylvania and was part of Hungary, actually is part of Romania. And, uh, I am myself a rather amateur orientalist since I happened to learn, learn Arabic in the university and uh, I passed uh, certain periods of my diplomatic life in, uh, in the Orient as well and I'm very honored to serve in India, which is the ultimate dream of every orientalist, uh, even if they are uh, scientific orientalists or diplomatic orientalists or uh, just amateurs. But uh, when I had to deliver those speeches on the occasion of the birthday of Alexander Chomoda Kirsch, uh, I had a certain resort to look for the sources of the inspiration of Hungarians coming to the Orient. I don't want to repeat the uh, foreign minister, but uh, that is an additional element. In the 19th century, Hungary was a country which was very open to the world. I think that Hungary preceded the age of globalization. And the world for us didn't mean only Central Europe, didn't mean only the Austro-Hungarian Empire or the Habsburg Empire, and not only Europe as such, but the world in its totality. And the world for a Hungarian means always, at least partially, Asia, the Orient. So the search for the soul of Hungarians, the search for the roots of the Hungarians is part of our openness. And I think that this openness remains. And uh, when I was there, uh, I even didn't dream of, about uh, becoming ambassador to India. But uh, when uh, the whim of history or the whim of sorts brought me here, one of the first decisions uh, I made was uh, to come to West Bengal, uh, to visit Kolkata and to, to visit Darjeeling, those places where Alexander Chomoda Kuresh lived and died.
and uh, I consider it is a very important cultural and diplomatic mission at the same time to deepen the knowledge and the memory of Alexander Shomodakar here in West Bengal and in India as such. And uh, I was uh, very proud uh, to contribute on behalf of the Hungarian Embassy here uh, to the fact that a secular totem pole was erected in Darjeeling in the locality where Alexander Chomodakar passed away 175 years ago and this secular totem pole bearing the same motives and as the art of Anna Kubini. And it was uh, inaugurated by the Speaker of the Hungarian Parliament last year. And uh, this exhibition plays also a very important part. It is not just uh, in memory of Alexander Chomodakar, but also it is a living proof that the art of the Hungarian people stems at least partially from the Orient. And uh, my last word is really important because it, it is a very fresh memory of mine. Uh, a fortnight ago, uh, I visited a village in Bihar, in neighboring Bihar. Uh, and we visited an EU financed project to teach young girls different professions. And the young girl was very proud and she showed us a piece of craftsmanship or a piece of art she was creating herself made of juta and uh, the motives I discovered were very much similar to the organic art of Anna Kubini and I think it's a very inherent proof of the link between Hungarian art and the spirit of the Orient and the vote of thanks can, uh, comes now of course uh, credit must go to Anna Kubini herself the artist for her innovative and uh, traditional art at the same time. We are very honored by the presence of uh, the Honorable Foreign Minister of Hungary. Uh, special thanks must go to Mr. Sengupta for making this exposition possible and of course the Honorary Council of Hungary, Mr. Datta. And a special thanks to the Economic Council of the Hungarian Embassy, Peter Schmidt, the guy over there, uh, who happens to be an excellent cultural manager as well, to be very operational and instrumental in organizing this event. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Janos Terini. Uh, now to borrow the words of the Honorable Minister, we shall move towards our common future, at least for this evening, and that would be the ceremonial inauguration and viewing of the exhibition. Uh, but before we go for that, let me allow myself to inform you about two forthcoming events of Victoria Memorial Hall. The first one is day after tomorrow, Friday the 15th, in this very venue where uh, Mr. Johar Sharkar, presently the CEO of Prasar Bharti, is going to speak on curious tales from Calcutta's past. And following that, on next Monday, that is the 18th of November, we have another talk which will be inside in the Prince Hall on Jaina paintings of Gujarat and the problem of Chaura Panchashika style by Professor Ratan Parimu, Director, Lal Bhai, Dalpat Bhai Museum and NC Mehta Gallery, Ahmedabad. So for all those who are interested in these topics, you're most welcome to attend these events. So may I now request Dr. Joyant Shaingupta to kindly lead uh, the Honorable Minister, the Ambassador, the artist Anna Kubini, Dr. Vandana Mukherjee, and all the other people present here to the place where the ceremonial uh, inauguration of the exhibition will take place in front of the main building and then everyone proceeds into the building to view the exhibition. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for your attention, patience and presence, encouragement and motivation. Enjoy the exhibition.